Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another First Soup Friday video. And may the fourth be with you, because today is Star Wars Day. That's right, so today we're going over 10 fantastic furry Star Wars species. So let's get started. Species number one, the Amarins. Because you gotta start the furry video with the fox species, right? The Amarins are a sentient animal people characterized by both vulpine and canine features. As unrepentant hagglers, the Amarins made natural merchants, especially of non-sentient animals which they learned to tame and breed. Also, their concept art is literally just furry art. For number two on our list, we have the Salonians. The Salonians are a species of otter-like mammals with long, flexible spines. They're also bipeds that stand at an average height of two meters. That means if you live in the Star Wars universe, you could land on a planet of massive otter people. Also, what's even more remarkable is that they're pretty technologically advanced. And knowing that they have special technology that are like specifically engineered for otters is kind of adorable. Number three on our list today, the Nelvanians. The Nelvanians, or Nelvans, were a race of blue-furred wolf-like humanoids native to the frozen planet of, go figure, Nelvan. They had a pretty typical hunter-gatherer lifestyle with tribes that were governed by chieftains and shamans. They also practice a dangerous initiation ritual where the young males have to obtain the scale of the tail of a horax. Yeah, these giant blue-skinned reptiles with razor-sharp teeth and horns. If they get the scale, then they can join the ranks of their tribe's greatest warriors. So it's basically if a furry wrote the movie Avatar. Number four on our list, Bothins. Many Bothins died to bring us this information. Yeah, remember that part from the movie? Well, I don't know about you, but I had no idea what a Bothin looked like until I actually looked them up for this video. Apparently, they're a species of furry mammalian anthropoids with a mix of canine, feline, and equine features. These guys were mostly known for being master politicians and spies. But one of the coolest things I learned about Bothans is that they're covered in a fur that shifts in response to their emotional states. And they look like a persona inspired by Labyrinth or Dark Crystal or something. Number five on our list today, the Chadrafan. Look how tiny they are. The Chadrafan were a short rodent-like humanoid, usually less than a meter tall with bat-like faces. The Chajrafan also possess seven different senses. Sight, touch, taste, sound, smell, infrared light, and chemoreceptive smell. All of these senses being way more advanced than that of a human. They also have a crazy accelerated metabolism, allowing them to work almost constantly and only functioning on two hours of sleep. Man, they would make great YouTubers. Number six, the Svivreni. Now looking at this picture, you would imagine that these would be big, imposing creatures. But this sentient equinoid species only reaches a height ranging from 60 to 90 centimeters tall. But they are a hardy folk, specializing mostly in minerals and geology. Good job, planet of mini ponies. Next we have the Shistavainen. Shistavainen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Colloquially referred to as wolfmen. I mean, with a name like that, can you blame them? The wolfmen are a sentient species originally from the Uvina system. In addition, in addition to just looking like wolves, the Shistavainen also possess large glowing eyes. And they can run at high speeds for long periods of time without getting tired. Additionally, they also possess heightened senses of hearing and smell, along with night vision. Hey look, it's not Wolf O'Donnell. And up next on our list, we have Spiners. Spiners were nearly extinct bipedal sentient mammals with sharp quills. They were capable of hurling these with incredible speed and accuracy just by flexing their muscles. Not only could they expend quills incredibly quickly, but their body's hypermetabolism allowed them to regrow them at will. In a single fight, a spiner could easily expend hundreds of quills. There isn't a whole lot of information about this species, but it is really cool to know that something as out there and creative as this exists in the Star Wars universe. And for number 9 on our list, we have the Cathar. I actually had no idea that there was a straight-up cat person species in the Star Wars universe. The Cathar were a species of feline bipedal humanoids known for their loyalty, passion, and temper. Quick and powerful, they were considered great warriors and dedicated, efficient hunters. All I know is if I ran into one of these guys in the middle of the jungle, I wouldn't want to pick a fight with him. And now, at number 10 on our list, the very last one, we have... Wookiees. Because how could we go through a whole list of furry friends from the world of Star Wars without talking about Wookiees? The Wookiees are a species of tall humanoids from the planet Kashyyyk. Their most notable member of the species is obviously Han Solo's co-pilot Chewbacca. Wookiees possess incredible strength and are known to rip people's arms out of their sockets when they're provoked. And even though their home planet is known mostly for swamps and forests, Wookiees are incredibly versatile creatures being able to live on ice planets like Hoth without any protective clothing. Also something I didn't know, apparently 
Apparently, Wookiees have extendable claws that they can use for climbing. They even have a Wookiee honor code that forbids them from using their claws for anything but climbing. What a bunch of good-hearted fuzzballs. So thanks a ton for watching this week's Fur Suit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you know of any cool furry species that exist in Star Wars or another fictional universe? Go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I do read every single comment and I try to reply to as many as possible. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. And to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these lovely Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and may the Force be with you. Psh.